the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, the 5th of January. I'm James Spann. The weather cold now. Some rain later this week. More cold air next week. So let's dive in there and take a look at things. This is the water vapor satellite view this afternoon. A rather weak zonal flow now and a very dry air mass across the state. Still pretty cold. The temperatures are in the mid to upper 40s. Birmingham 45, Tuscaloosa 48. We should creep up into the low 50s tomorrow, but no sign of any warmth anytime soon. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Pretty quiet. Most of the really active weather is in the western states. Actually got some uh, winter weather advisories for parts of Arizona and Nevada. Uh, flash flood issues in Southern California. Boy, check out the radar coming from Los Angeles. That was at 227 Central Time. Big downpours. Uh, some flash flooding uh, just northwest of Los Angeles. But understand, they need that. That is very welcome. It's an inconvenience, but it's a good thing. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us all the way through the weekend, through Sunday evening. Again, big rains for California where they need it. Around here, uh, this is suggesting rain amounts in the one-half to three-quarters of an inch range. And we'll have two rain events, one Thursday night and another one over the weekend, as you'll see. And we're going to walk you through the dailies. This is uh, tomorrow at noon off the GFS, the 12Z run at 500 millibars. You can see... Uh, the big troughing moving into California. And down for us uh, below that, it's a dry day. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny. Now, we start the day in the 20s, another freeze, but the high will likely be up in the lower 50s in most spots. This is Thursday. You see the wave west of the state producing rain around Little Rock and New Orleans. And that will be moving in here Thursday night. This is Thursday night at midnight, rain falling. Again, this time, no worries with flooding or severe weather. Probably no thunder, just uh, rain Thursday night. Might begin late Thursday afternoon. Looks like the better chance coming after 5 o'clock after dark. Friday, that rain is lifted out. No cold air involved here. And again, we could see mid-60s on Friday. I might suggest this will be the warmest day of the next seven days. Maybe a glimpse of the sun, but the sky will stay mostly cloudy. Now, for the weekend, here comes the next wave. Uh, this is noon on Saturday, rain moving into West Alabama. We made the adjustment this morning to include a pretty good chance of rain during the day Saturday. If you need to do something outdoors, you might want to do it early in the day. Uh, this is Saturday night at midnight, still rain falling. And even on Sunday now, the GFS wants to keep clouds and some light rain in here with strong cold air advection. Uh, this looks like a day where temperatures could easily fall. We might start the day around 50. We'll fall through the 40s during the day. Cloudy, some light rain or drizzle. Kind of a raw, breezy, damp, dreary day. And this is Monday. Strong uh, vortex digging down into the Great Lakes, pulling down some cold air. Monday looking cold and dry. Not so sure we get out of the 30s on Monday. We'll probably adjust the numbers down. Uh, the GFS Moss is showing a high of 42. I get the idea we'll stay in the 30s all day. Look at the anomalies, and that cold air covers much of the country on Monday. The exception is the far northeast, Maine. They're above average. Other than that, it's cold everywhere. This is Tuesday, cold and dry. Tuesday morning, uh, we might make a run for the teens. Upper teens or low 20s. It uh, should be the coldest morning so far this season. Uh, partly sunny with highs in the 40s. And uh, this is Wednesday of next week, uh, the 13th. We're cool and dry. And this is the end of the forecast period, Friday the 15th. Same thing. We're uh, cold and dry. Snow lovers, any hope? Uh, not really. This is the snow depth projected on January 15th. Nothing around here off the uh, GFS. These are the anomalies, temperature anomalies on the 15th. And again, it's cold. I mean, it's uh, everybody that was saying back around Christmas, winter's just not going to happen this year. Well, there you go. thought we'd check one uh, European uh, look. This is the 14th, Thursday of next week. It's got a wave in the Gulf of Mexico, way to the south. It's shunted south because of the cold air. So, again, no sign of any winter weather mischief on these morning global runs. We'll check temperatures. And, again, wouldn't be shocked if the numbers were lower than that next week. And, again, the... Uh, Teleconnections, AO, strongly negative. North Atlantic Oscillation, negative. 
and that'll keep us cold for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.